been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, you have much to catch up on. Nearly five years ago, we sold our goat farm in Victoria to hit the road in a truck and caravan. After four years of exploring Australia, we have changed course a little, selling our caravan and buying a 48 foot yacht. Exploring overland is still a priority in our truck, but now we are adding the sea to our adventures. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we don't know how to sail. You might be wondering what the hell I'm doing. But there's one thing for sure I can tell you is that we're getting closer and closer to finishing the boat enough to sail anyway. So what I'm doing right now is installing a clip on point for a safety harness. At the back of the yacht here, there is no real spot to run a safety line and clip on here in case of extremely rough weather. So what I've done is I've gone and had manufactured, because I couldn't buy one, I couldn't buy anything suitable, a mount that we can bolt to the mast and we can clip our safety harnesses onto there. So we can work in the back area here and on the mizzen and even in the dinghy if you need to um, and be clipped on safely. I have also had made up some safety lines that run from the back of the boat here all the way down to the front to the bowsprit so that you can when you come out of the helm area here you can clip on and you can get all the way down to the front while being clipped onto the boat just in case of extremely rough weather so like I said you know we're getting to the pointy end of getting ready to leave when you're doing the important safety stuff eh? because you can't be going anywhere without that. I'm not sure what they did previous to us with clipping on and harnesses and so on. There was nothing on board. We've got plenty of harnesses and um, that sort of stuff on board, but we didn't have any lines, safety lines to clip onto. So we're doing that now. So wherever you've got dissimilar metals, and in this case I've got stainless that's screwing into aluminium, to prevent corrosion you need to just put some anti-corrosive product on it. I've got this thing called Tef Gel. It's just really an a anti-corrosive uh, water eliminating substance so that the salt water or fresh water can't get in and it can't have electrolysis between the two different metals. So that's what I'm doing here. Put a little bit on everything, a little bit on the threads, a little bit on the rubber, just to try and help prevent any moisture getting in. Another day, another sonar attempt. Carl's upstairs with Ashley and they are attempting to fix the sonar. If this doesn't happen to work, we're done. We'll have to buy something new. Oh, we don't know what the problem is. That's just another problem. Okay, so what was that problem? Oh, the weird thing is that the solar controller interferes with the um, sonar. It puts interference into it. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh my gosh. So either it's just the controller and that's the way it is. 
I said it looked a bit shit anyway. Mm -hmm. Remember I said it had some funny stuff happening on the screen? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's happening, but all I can hear is it's not good, it's not good. I don't know what that means. To basically sum up exactly what we found was that the sonar was outputting at a very low level which means when the solar controller or any other electrical stuff had some slight interference with it it would dramatically affect the readings on the sonar the only thing that we found that we could do was to replace the cable that goes from the transducer up to the head unit and that improved the signal but it was still very poor basically there's something wrong with the sonar for some reason it's not outputting at a high level the signal is very weak coming from it so we've done this as a temporary measure run a new cable so it does work we just got to be it's finicky we need to do manual settings and so on after all that we will still need to replace the sonar sometime when we pull the boat out of the water we do have a new unit that we can use if we really really need to like we can plug it in and probably hang it over the side or something like that if our one completely fails but until then we're just going to run with it the way it is being a little bit finicky and not super clear but it is working it does show the depth and so on the sonar will do for now by the way as you can see i basically have to pull half the boat apart to run a new cable from the sonar up to the uh, display unit but that's the way it goes it's all done the existing sonar cable ran up through the wall and it was so tight that i couldn't even remove it at all so i had to leave it in the wall and run a new cable in a different route up to the unit <laughs> Normally sunny Bundaberg, but tonight, stormy. Whoa, now it's blowing the other way, it just changed completely. <laughs> Lucky I fixed some of our leaks. And lucky when I cut a hole in the deck this morning, I patched it up temporarily with a garbage bag. The lightning was so loud just before I think Catherine gave birth. She's laughing downstairs. <laughs> the real question is, do we have any leaks? <laughs> is there anything leaking yet? Uh, not so far. Not so far? Although, yeah, that thunder earlier scared that hell out of I know, you yeah, give birth. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, Surely there must be some leaks by now. Oh, please. Oh, it's been raining pretty hard. Oh, not yet. Tick. This one. Not yet. You should name them. Tick. They're like our children. We check on them every day. This one. Oh, not yet. Tick. <laughs> this one. This one's definitely going to leak 100%. Unless I really did fix it. Oh, that's not leaking yet either. My gosh. What about this one? This is associated with the last one, I think. It leaks through here. You can see the marks. Runs down the inside and nothing yet. You can see the rust up there. Where it's been getting water. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> a new one! A new leak! We're lucky! Yeah, we are lucky. I changed it somehow. And we thought, we thought the V-Birth had no leaks. We wrong. Oh no. Oh what? Oh no. Oh no. This is self-watering system. It is the self-watering system. So attempt number four to stop that leak. Dripping down there. On the window, runs down there. Comes out the hole here. Goes down there. We'll put this here. Bloody hell. I thought I had that sucker done. How many times can I freaking try and fix that sucker honestly? I don't even know where it's coming from. How can you stop something if you've got no idea? This morning we're having the anchor roller and all that stuff fitted. Woohoo! Finally done! Hey, how are you? Morning. Good. Just a little one, hey. <laughs> Originally when we purchased the boat, we noticed that the anchors were not all the way up into their home position, you could say. So they were hanging down off the bowsprit and we didn't think much of it being new to boating. So we continued on with our merry life. But it soon became evident when I tried to raise and lower the anchors that it was just impossible to do. I don't know how the boat has lasted 30 so years with the current system because you simply just can't get them up and down without manhandling them. Even with the elevated work platform on the hard stand, I still couldn't get the anchor up and into its rollers and all the way home. What we've done is gone ahead and designed a whole new roller system to suit our new anchor, which we purchased. It's a bigger anchor. It's got a different style. And I wanted to make sure that it was easy to retrieve and deploy. So together, Tom and I worked out a system that we think was going to work with rocker plates and repositioning of the anchors so it doesn't clash with the bow sprit and everything else. And after doing all of this and testing it, it works extremely well. Got to be happy with that. Another job done. And at least we can anchor easily. Oh, it looks like it, yep. Oh, touch them there, they can't. Mm -hmm. Mate, we're tight, tight. Yeah, that's probably, that's, probably didn't allow, mate, to go in a bigger IV in the centre of it. It's a bit low, a little bit low. What do you mean low? Oh, it's going to catch some waves. More, I suppose, isn't it? Looks good, but yeah, there's just that spot. I went to that lot that. Now I'll see what happens.
beautiful. <laughs> Definitely so nice. It's very pretty. <laughs> Once the anchors were all working correctly, the only thing remaining was to make a locking plate to lock it in position when it's all the way up. So that will come at a later date, but for now, they work great, go up and down great. In the cracked up pavement, dandelions grew Like a vow from a world that wouldn't let us down On an empty schoolyard the summer was new We talked about bands and ways to leave this town We laughed and lied Debated and confided Tried to fake it to get by Back at Johnny's house 